right guys we are back again <laughs> all the stuff we took yesterday and they have just brought way more out i see all that stuff we took yesterday y'all and they brought a ton more out this is crazy and we made a huge dent yesterday some hot pockets right here I'm gonna grab look at all these biscuits that babe got oh crescent rolls okay cheese you guys let me cut this radio down y'all this is some stuff we got some stuff as always I'll show you everything once we get home we stacked up again guys alright so we just stopped at this dumpster right here babe pulled this out um, and I'll show you everything else I'm right back uh, gosh yeah or somebody got more chicken gizzards Y'all, look at the car. I don't think I'm gonna make this all one haul. Maybe I will, but this is the haul that we just got. Sausage. Sausage and chicken gizzard kind of day. I may actually make that part of small haul. I will let you know. Oh goodness, guys, just look at here. Okay, welcome to part two of our awesome freezer outage haul from Dollar General. Let's just hop right into it. So I included the dive um, initially that we did. I didn't get a ton of footage, but I included it in this video as well as the next video, just so you guys can, um, yeah, see what <laughs> see what it was looking like before I show you all the stuff we got. Now there's going to be one more video coming. This is going to be a three-part series. 
because this was a big haul, you guys. But let's just hop right into it. You can tell from my voice, I am tired. <laughs> but let's go. Okay, first we got some Clover Valley butter. This is all of the sweet cream salted butter. Really good butter. You know, of course, I like to bake with unsalted just because it's a lot easier. I don't have to start um, decreasing the amount of salt I'm putting in and all that. But I know some people that do bake with salted. So either way, it's a great find. We have more of the Imperial. I always want to say Imperial Crown. The Imperial Butter. And this is just a little four count in there. One more of the salted butter. I actually ripped this opening it up. So yeah, got that. Uh, more salted butter. More Imperial Butter. Two more of the Imperial Jugs. And one, I can't believe it's not butter. My grandmother used to love this, so I love that stuff now. So lots of butter, and we still have some more, I believe. Do we? Actually, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit more. I'll show you that in the next haul. We have some bags of beef fajitas. Let's see. Fully cooked already. Okay. High in protein. All you have to do is basically put this in a skillet with some non-stick cooking spray and cook four to six minutes. Easy enough, okay. Or you can microwave them. I don't really microwave stuff. Um, just quick like reheating stuff, not microwaving it to cook. They even have a nice little recipe on the back. That's cool. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these bags of fajitas, fajitas. All right, what's next? We have two of the Smithfield Premium Sauces All Natural Hots. Hot, hot, <laughs> hot. I don't know why I keep saying that, but apparently it is hot. All right, Bar S. We have a 14 count of the Classic Smoked Sausage. This is a two and a half pound family pack. This is what they are looking like. Funny quick story. We had some friends from uh, LA over and we always do like seafood boils because I love seafood. And I had chopped some of these up. because You know, they're smoked sausage. So I chopped some of these up and put them in the seafood boil. And one of our friends were like, did you put hot dogs in here? It just cracked me up. But this is actually smoked sausage. It's just in a weird shape or a different shape. So I guess it does look like a hot dog. But yeah, that's funny. We have some Oscar Mayer um, all natural slow roasted turkey breast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these all together. We have some flame grilled Johnsonville Italian sausage. These are, oh, okay, it says already pre grilled. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five six so six of these i was checking to see if they're all italian sausage it looks like they are we have some clover valley buttery spread not butter just a buttery spread um we have some country crock original i like this too deli fresh uncured ham smoked thank you very much we have some more of the Smithfield Breakfast Sausage in Hometown Original. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 of these. Is there an expiration date for people that are curious? Yes. Question is, can you guys see it? Can I focus this? August 11, uh, 2021 is the expiration date on here. And we have 11 of them. Already showed you the hot sausage. And we also have some Hormel meatloaf. This is just a homestyle meatloaf with tomato sauce. Simple ideas. I love when they show you like how to use their product. It's just, it's interesting to me. Because sometimes it's stuff I never would have thought of. Like this one, for instance, is showing that you can use this in an open face sandwich. Meatloaf spaghetti. I've never heard of meatloaf spaghetti. Comment down below if this is something, a meal that you make, or if you have heard of it. And then meatloaf with tots. Okay, so very interesting. Can I see what's in here? Can I be nosy? No. Oh, okay, whoa. I am assuming it looks more appetizing once you cook it. Because this don't look good. <laughs> this don't look very good. 
Well, but you know, as always, guys, I'm never that um, worried about what we get because, listen, I am the queen of doctoring something up. I believe you can doctor almost anything up. Now, some stuff is harder than others. Don't get me wrong. But you can always doctor it up just a bit for it to taste good. And this just gives you, um, oh, okay, just directions and all that. Oh, you can microwave it? Mmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about a microwave meatloaf. So, anyway, one of those. All right, we have some more cheese, guys. Kraft Natural Cheese, Clover Valley Shredded. Low moisture, part skin, mozzarella cheese. Well, that's a mouthful. More mots, 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 and some cheddar. So all of that shredded, love shredded cheese. Last but not least, we have some Armor Lunch Makers. And this is pepperoni, or I'm sorry, pizza with pepperoni flavored sausage. And these are basically just like Lunchables, you know. Six grams of protein. Now, I'm interested in that fruit bar made with real fruit. Apparently, it's an apples and cranberry mini fruit bar. That actually sounds pretty decent. And we got some juice. Not excited about these at all, honestly. I really don't like the pepperoni kind. But, yeah, this is cool. The little extras it comes with. That's cool. Now, total, we have one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen of these total. So yeah good little snack or whatever i may find a kid or something to give the pepperoni pizza to i'm just honestly gonna take the the fruit bars and the juice out that's what we want <laughs> and then this is something from the last haul i just have not put up yet i'm about to put that up so guys this was this haul total it's a mess back there because i'm making the kitty stuff so yeah let's go back so you guys can see so yeah guys this is today's haul well, not today's haul. This is part two of today's haul because we got so much. I'm just dividing it up and we're putting it up as I'm filming. And we are also giving. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We will see you in part three of this huge haul. Bye, friends. Oh, before I leave, comment down below your favorite thing. And comment down below what you would do to doctor up that meatloaf. Oh, that's a good idea. Comment down below what you would do to doctor up that meatloaf. Because it's going to need some doctor enough. I'll probably just give it because I don't even have the strength. I'll just make my own. <laughs> okay, let me go. Bye.